The Global Cast showcases SFU students' diverse stories, a podcast that fosters inclusivity by sharing in intercultural conversations, opportunities, and fun segments with our SFU Global community. We want to start by respectfully acknowledging the Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh, Quiquitlam, and Musqueam peoples on whose sacred, unceded, and ancestral territories we are recording today. In our first episode, we will talk with three fellow student coordinators from the International Services for Students as they introduce the two intercultural programs, which are the Global Community Peer Education Program and the Global Connections Program. Welcome to Global Cast, the brand new SFU Global Community Show. <laughs> I'm Audrey, a student staff from International Services for Students, or also known as ISS, and I will be the host for today as we showcase and we talk about our two peer programs uh, with the student coordinators who help run them. So we're here with Emerald who is the coordinator for the Global Peer Education Program, as well as Colin and Issei, who are the coordinators for the Global Connections Program. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'll ask Emerald if you can start you know, introducing yourself, you know, who are you, that kind of thing. For sure. Um, I am the Intercultural Engagement Coordinator at International Services, so I work to support the Global Community Peer Education Program, but then I also kind of work on some other intercultural projects within the office as they come up. I've been working for International Services for students for just a year now, perfectly lining up with COVID, and, but I've worked kind of at SFU in related intercultural focus kind of diversity programming for probably five or four years now. So that's me. I know the other community coordinators are going to be sharing things about themselves. The most interesting fact about myself is that I sit in my house with my dog. I feel like I hear his footsteps. Like it's a, Yes, it's he's so. <laughs> pitter pattering around right now. Uh, hi, my name is Colin. I've been working for ISS uh, mainly on the GCP, uh, the Global Connections Program, as you can see. Um, and I've been working for uh, since August 2020. Um, I'm graduating this term with a CRIM major, political science minor, and legal studies certificate. But that's the really boring stuff. The less boring stuff is I love to hike and disappear into the woods for days on end. And I really love animals, especially cats. I have one named Bella. I also love dogs and bears. Um, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of bears, personally, no offense. Um, <laughs> I've been bitten by an ostrich as well. I'm not really related, but yeah. But an dogs or cats are cats. Cool. They're cool. <laughs> My name is Ize. Um, I'm one of the volunteer and events coordinators. So I work with ISS with all the lovely people who already introduced themselves. Um, I've been volunteering with ISS since fall 2018, goodness, yeah, since fall 2018, and then I started working for ISS in spring 2020, 2020, yeah, so I've done the whole COVID-19 transition, and I've been with ISS for most of my SFU career, which has been just spent studying biomedical engineering and biomedical physiology, uh, but besides work and studying, I also read comic books because they're great and everybody should read comic books. And yes, it's read, not just look at the pictures. Um, and I also dance when I can while cooking, even though it's a fire hazard, it's fun. Highly recommend, so yeah. We're here, right? We're gonna talk about more about the programs, right? The two programs, the, the peer programs that ISS specifically runs. It was the you know, Global Community Peer Education Program and the Global Connections Program. But knowing that Emerald, you, know, you started off our introductions. If you could share a little bit about what is the Global Community Peer Education Program? You know, what do you guys do and what do you do <laughs> in ISS? For sure. So the Global Community Peer Education Program is number one, a lot of words. Number two, a really wholesome and great program. I'm biased because I support it, but usually we have seven to 10 community peer educators. We call them global peers for short. And they work to create educational programming related to intercultural competency, kind of equity, diversity, and inclusion. Any 
programming that helps to connect students and educate students about diversity and intercultural competency on campus and help to celebrate that diversity and create a really inclusive campus. So this term we've been running events and social media campaigns like once a month, roughly. In the past, the team has worked on kind of workshops related to different intercultural and diversity topics and ranging from small events, talking circles to really huge events like the Global Talent Night, which is a very large event showcasing talents across SFU related to culture. I heard that you guys had it virtually this year. We did do it virtually uh, in person. I think there have been like 200 attendees. Virtually we had about 35, which was pretty great. It was really, really positive. We had nine performers and we just, they showed their videos on Zoom and everyone was really engaged in the chat. And it was a really wholesome time to celebrate the talent and the diversity at SFU. I remember I was, uh, I was the one who emceed the last in-person um, Global Talent Night. Um, but I'll let Colin talk a little bit more about what the program itself is. Um, so yeah, the Global Connections program, really it's, it's student-led and it connects new and current SFU students. Um, it especially focuses um, and is designed on helping students from international and diverse pathways, but it is open to every SFU undergraduate. Uh, you can opt into getting a mentor who is a senior student and can kind of help guide you um, throughout uh, your semester. And you do get the opportunity to meet a lot of other SFU students from all around the world with diverse backgrounds and perspectives. Um, faculties, and you do this through various events and activities that we host throughout the term. Um, and you really do get to learn a lot about other people's cultures, share yours with others, and really make a lot of meaningful connections. Um, and a good thing about the GCP is it is super flexible. You can choose to attend as many events as you want or as few as you want. And Another benefit, if you attend three events in total and you send us a checklist, you do get co-curricular record recognition, which is an official university document. It tracks kind of what you've been involved in in the university and you can use it to supplement job applications and say, hey, look, I did this thing that, you know, it shows that I can, you know, talk with other people from other cultures. And beyond kind of social events, intercultural events, we do also offer sessions on topics and referral to resources that will be really helpful for you. Um, you also receive CCR when you're a volunteer with us and you get peer mentorship training then and do all the beautiful things that Colin already mentioned, but more in the behind the scene way, which is very exciting. One thing I want to touch on, Colin, I really love that you brought up that being involved in the Global Connections program gives people opportunities to connect across faculties. And I think that's a really unique strength of both our programs, just because a lot of ways people get involved on campus tend to be specific to interests at clubs or certain programs in departmental student unions. But we really, at least I've noticed in the Global Peer Program, have people from all different faculties. And I've been, this is fresh in my head because I've been chatting with the Global Peers lately about how the program has gone for them because we're some are working towards leaving the program because they're graduating or they've done their required two terms for co-curricular credit. And one thing that they've been bringing up is that I never thought I would have community or things in common with people from different faculties, but being in this program has taught me that there's really all sorts of people at SFU that I can connect with and it's not only really refreshing to know, but also really valuable to connect with those different perspectives. You really do get a huge mix of experiences and people like it's it's really great to kind of hear people's stories and get to learn what they're studying about or how they think of things. So I have a few frequently asked questions. This, this segment, you can call it the too long didn't read speed Q&A. Uh, so these are just questions that are frequently asked about the program. So I'm just gonna shoot them at you and feel free to answer. So are these programs only for international students? No, <laughs> that, that's so your short answer. answer. They're open to every SFU undergraduate student, at least with the Global Connections program for undergraduate. It's the same for the Global Peer program. 
if anybody who's ever who's listening have questions or are interested in volunteering in the programs, please contact them and I'll leave their emails in the descriptions. And we also have a website where if you want to learn more or read more about the programs, it's all on there. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Global Cast. If you have any questions you would like answered by us or want to let us know what you'd like to hear in the next episode, leave us a message on Facebook or Instagram at SFU Global Community. Until next time. Bye. 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 Bye.